In this new series, I am emphasizing my new network model. Keep it simple. Simplicity has a couple major benefits, in my opinion. Easier and faster to set up. Less troubleshooting. I personally believe minimal configuration to achieve 90% performance is superior to hours and days of tweaking to achieve 99%. In this first of the series, I'm going to start with how to set up guest Wi Fi using Unify Network Controller version 6. Personally, I have Unify Dream Machine Pro, but this should work with other Unify Network Controller so long as it is version 6. Let's get started. Before setting guest Wi Fi, The first question you need to ask yourself is Do I need it? There are two main reasons why I have guest Wi Fi in my home security and performance. On our home network, I have several computers, including network attached storage servers. They contain many personal data, including work related documents, family photos, and the others. I do not want my guests to have access to these files. Also, if my guest device has some virus, I don't want it to be spread into my network. One of your family m e m b e r may have an important Zoom meeting. That should for sure take priority over my kid's friend who is trying to play network connected games. So, you want to restrict the amount of bandwidth a guest user can use. If one or both of above situations seem to apply to you, Guest network is the way to go. There are three basic steps. First, create guest VLAN. Second, optionally, create guest bandwidth profile. Third, create guest Wi Fi network using guest VLAN and guest bandwidth profile created in first and second steps. First, you log into your Unify network controller. Then go to Setting, Networks, Add a new network. Here, you put a name of a local area network, which you should think as wired or backbone over your network. This is not your Wi Fi network name yet. I just call mine Guest LAN, but you can name it whatever. VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. So, this is allowing you to create an own network without having separate hardware like second router. This gives many additional network customization individually. One of the options is content filtering. This is one way to put parent or control type filtering to all devices using Guest LAN. If you want to choose work or family type filter, go right ahead. Now, expand advanced section. Here, the key thing you need to do is turn on the device isolation option. Turning this option on will ensure devices connected to this network have no access to your other networks. I have tested this myself by connecting to guest network Wi Fi when all done and try to access Unify Network Controller by typing in an IP address or ping other device on my main network, and nothing connects. Now you're going to complete the rest of guest VLAN creation. For the minimum setting configuration, You just need two other fields VLAN ID, auto scale network, on. Both are by default automatically filled or selected. If you never created VLAN before, your VLAN ID may be starting with two. Auto scale network is setting that takes away a couple additional manual settings. With a keep it simple approach, My recommendation is just leave auto scale network on and move on. All you need to do at this point is scroll down to the bottom and hit add network. Now you have created a VLAN that can be used for guest Wi Fi. This is an optional step, but I surmise many users want to limit guest user network bandwidth so they don't slow down your primary network. For this, We will create a bandwidth limitation rule. Go to Setting, Advanced Features, Bandwidth Profile, Add Bandwidth Profile. 
Here, you can specify whatever number you want it for max data bandwidth the user in the guest network can use. I named the rule as guest and set 50 megabits per second down and 10 megabits per second up for myself. To save it, hit apply changes. Finally, we are creating guest Wi-Fi network. The reason we waited this step until the last is because the other two steps ensures guest Wi-Fi network to be isolated by creating its own virtual local area network and the network has bandwidth limitation by using bandwidth rule. Now go to setting, Wi-Fi, add new Wi-Fi network. Name here will be the SSID of the Wi-Fi. Password will be what's prompted on your wireless device at the time of Wi-Fi connection. For the network, you want to choose guest VLAN that you just created on the first step. Under the advanced setting, you have various options. Keep scrolling down until you see bandwidth profile. This is where you select guest bandwidth profile that was created on the second step. You may want to have guest Wi-Fi only available specific time of the day and otherwise keep the guest Wi-Fi off. If you scroll down to the bottom Wi-Fi scheduler section, click anywhere on the grid map or drag and drop each day and fill the grid map. The key here is you are specifying the time when the guest Wi-Fi is being posed. For example, I want guest Wi-Fi only available between 10 a.m to 8 p.m. every day of the week. This is how it looks like. After all is done, now hit apply changes. Congratulations, you now should see new guest Wi-Fi SSID in your network. You can try pinging one of your network device from a device connected to the guest Wi-Fi. You can also try internet speed test to confirm the bandwidth restriction if you applied it. If something's not quite working as intended, my first suggestion is reboot the network. By this, it includes your network controller unit like Dream Machine, but also each access point. Thanks for watching.